I don't want to set the world on fire I just want to start a flame in your heart Hello, and welcome back to JBSR's 25 Days of Christmas. I know I've beaten this idea into you by now, but I didn't play PC games growing up. Until I splurged and got a new PC just to play some Sims 2, I never played anything. So, of the countless titles that I missed, included in that are the original Fallout games. By the time Fallout 3 was announced, I was at least familiar with the series, but I was more interested in something not Elder Scrolls related coming to me from Bethesda, who basically controlled my life with Morrowind and Oblivion. So I was excited for this game, and I even have the Collector's Edition Lunchbox version of it. Obviously I love the game since you're seeing it here, and there's plenty who would agree. I mean, I do think it's basically a reskinned Oblivion, and I honestly feel like the characters and setting of Fallout New Vegas are better, but Fallout 3 had a much better overall storyline. And as much as I don't like the fact that there's way too much nothingness sprinkled with oh, HOLY CRAP A DEATH CLAW It's a very fitting setting given the circumstances. I mean, it only makes sense that the nation's capital would be hit hardest by a nuclear apocalypse. And the DLC add-ons are pretty solid as well, which gave me plenty of reason to come back for a while after beating it, perfectly balancing DLC as something to extend gameplay, not overwhelm the player. I'm looking at you, Borderlands 2. So while I don't think this is revolutionary or a contender for the best game of all time, it is still one of my favorites, and I'm looking forward to the next game, especially considering it's supposed to be in my home state. But instead of shooting people's faces off and causing them to blow apart, Tomorrow, we'll talk about a game based in Middle-earth, where you also cause people to blow apart. <laughs>